basically we uh, go in the classroom and we apply trigonometry and how to apply the survey. How the measurements were taken out here, you can apply it to real life situations, uh, find uh, distances of things you can't get to. As part of the part, fun part of the uh, project, we come out here a couple times during the year, we take some measurements, and we take those measurements, we collect all the information, we take it back into the classroom. We're going to take this prism pole and put it on points of uh, items that we want to locate. And so basically this is going to be like a big pencil. All right, so we're going to be out here and what we're, what we're taking locations on is going to be collected. And when it imports into the data collector, the AutoCAD system, it's going to draw it right out for us. We are going to uh, measure the distances at the various points and try to put plot them together uh, on a computer software. <laughs> We're like trying to mimic what uh, survey engineers do on a larger field, but we are like shrinking the size really to a really smaller field, like our small plot. We also attend the Trick Star competition. It's uh, trigonometry based, and we're given some angles and distances, and trying to solve other angles and lengths. Because those are known control points, we assign coordinates to them. And when we process it through our program, what it does is it takes all of this information out here and it computes what the coordinate and the elevation is for every single point that we collected. And when we go through and process it, what it'll do is uh, we go to import it in AutoCAD and all of the points and all of the line work comes right in. You can kind of see it was, it was kind of drawn it out. And, you know, basically if you remember, we started down here by, we shot the sign came around, located that curb line all the way up, hit some catch basins, some drains as we went up. We hit these light poles as we came down. You can see that you know the, the symbol came in from the light pole as well. Uh, so Chris already went through uh, in the office and did all the contouring and brought up some spot elevations. And that's essentially what the, the final product would look like um, you know, if we were to do this in the office. We have, these are spot elevations that we bring in, so we, we know what the top and the bottom of the curves are. Um, you can see it's, they're about, you know, yeah. about a half a foot tall. And again, a lot of this goes into, you know, gets used by um, landscape architects, engineers, um, developers. Um, you know, if they wanted to repave the road, they know how high the curve is right now. You can't just keep paving and paving and paving because before you know it, you have no curve. So they'll look at this and say, okay, well, we have four-inch reveal right now. We want to repave. What we may have to do is mill it first.